this is when we show what we're about as well. No one be fucking scared this second half. We have to go and win this fucking game. No other, no fucking other option but to win this game. Someone's going to switch off and we will get fucking chances. Volley right foot. at it is is that it's it's a deserving opportunity if you get on the field and the whole point is is that when you do get that you have to go out and you have to actually perform um, because these chances don't come around often and then the other part of it too is is that the objective is to win because it's a you, you, you win you move on and if you don't you're out so um, it, it's not it's not just an opportunity it's a big opportunity and and I think guys will get that opportunity now they have to go out and perform as we get you set for Sporting Kansas City's first match in the 2024 U.S. Open Cup in Omaha. As SKC sets to take on USL League One side, Union Omaha. Sam, Sporting Kansas City, historically one of the best teams in the U.S. Open Cup. It's always a competition that we talk about Sporting Kansas City taking very seriously. Another chance here this year. Of course, less MLS teams competing, but Sporting being one of those teams, a chance for a trophy. Sporting Kansas City, four-time Open Cup champions, traveling to face a third division Union Omaha side, dreaming of an upset. And really, Blake, you cannot understate how big this game is, I think, for both teams. Sporting Kansas City looking to get back on track using this Open Cup tournament that they always covet as an opportunity to rediscover that form in league play. And then for Union Omaha, they may not play a bigger game all season. Always one of the best teams in USL League One, and tonight they have a very special opportunity in front of their fans, a David versus Goliath situation. Boy, I love the Open Cup. I'm stoked for this one, brother. right now it is palpably buzzing here in Omaha they have come in full force probably have at least 4,000 here in the stadium right now and several Sporting Kansas City fans making that short trip here to the north the whistle from Nabil Ben Salah and there it is we are underway from Omaha Nebraska now Caden Pierre will take it out the back line he's inside the box Pierre beats his defender a sliding challenge he's still with it Pierre plays it across and it's cleared away it'll be a corner kick for Sporting Kansas City my goodness what a run there from Caden Pierre and that is his bread and butter cutting in centrally from the right channel that right back having to look there of a more of a winger as he cuts to the end line plays it back across the a big touch forward here inside the box for Omaha. Plays it across. A whiff, but it's still there. It falls to the feet of Omaha, and they bury it. The home side score first against Sporting Kansas City. Union Omaha in front 1-0. There is the halftime whistle. Union Omaha leading Sporting Kansas City 1-0 at the half from Caniglia Field. It has not gone to plan thus far for Sporting Kansas City. 
But right now, we get here, and we're just playing the ball, and we got maybe one or two guys, and we keep losing the ball. Just play it back out. Go again. Go again. Come back. Come back. I'm telling you, the, we'll, find the, we'll find the answer. You don't have to get impatient in that situation, okay? All right? The chances are, 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 are there. The chances are there. We have to make sure we keep circulating the ball. We're, 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 we're getting too impatient in situations. The chances will come. It will come. You have to strike, and when you do, you stay focused on the next one, and you go again. Just be ready to go, ready to go, and, and, and we're going to find our chances. Don't get, don't get discouraged. There's 45 minutes we have. We, we have a lot coming down the pike here. We're here chances, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is when we show what we're about as well. No one be fucking scared this second half. We have to go and win this fucking game. No other, no fucking other option but to win this game. And if you're Omaha, you've done such a good job defending all game, but you give it away like this. Here's Marino Shawnees for Sporting Kansas City. He'll have a strike with his left foot. It bounces off the right post and in. There's the equalizer for Sporting Kansas City. A quick response from Marino Shawnees. And Marino Shonis tees one up from the top of the box. It doesn't have all the pace on it, but it doesn't need to. It beats Nuhu into that right corner. What a finish from Marino Shonis. Hey, you keep going. Sam, this has been just about everything you could ask for from a U.S. Open Cup match. Yeah, you've got Sporting Kansas City, the Goliath in this one, the four-time champion of this tournament, pushing the envelope. Creating a decent number of chances, enjoying the lion's share of possession. There it is, the final whistle from Omaha, Nebraska, Union Omaha, and Sporting Kansas City. Locked at one apiece, as you said. 30 more minutes to play here of extra time in the Open Cup. They wanted to get out of here in 90 minutes, but the first goal, no matter how it happens, is they want to advance in the Open Cup. Side of the box, it's still Marino's Johnny's cutting inside. Now Polito falls to his feet at the top of the D. Polito has a hit, and it's in the bottom corner. Sporting Kansas City score at the death. And surely they're through to the round of 16. Alon Polito, it didn't have the venom, but it found the corner. Open Cup magic from Sporting Kansas City's number nine. There is the final whistle. Sporting Kansas City win it in extra time in Omaha. You know, I, you know, it was great to see behind the goal, especially. I don't really look up in the stands behind me, but especially in the, in the uh, behind the goal, you know, we had a, a great... Uh, group of fans there, which was tremendous, and that helps our team. Um, we just got to do the best we can to recover and get, get, you know, get ready for that game. It's, um, but yeah, we used all of our subs, and, and everybody's getting you know minutes, and now we just got to get ourselves recovered and get ready for Houston on Saturday. Um, very difficult game. That's it's always difficult going there, but you know, especially them coming here. Um, they've got a lot of players back as well. They're probably at full strength now. They've got all their quality guys back, so it's going to be it's going to be a difficult game. Um, you know, they've had the disappointment of going out um, during the week as well, so I'm sure they'll be looking to bounce back. And even the game last year at home was a very difficult game. Didn't help that I kind of killed the team and made them go down to ten men as well. But uh, the guys. Showed great character to, to stick that one out, um, and I, I'm sure that you know we play the way we have been playing, especially at home. You know we're going to create chances, but it's up to us on the other side of that as well. We have to stop conceding so easily as well. So we know that we've got you know a, a little bit of a gap to claw back at the moment, um, and it has to start before you know that gap becomes too big and we start getting into territory where you know we're chasing and trying to make up points. Uh, so. All focus is on is winning this game, playing the way we have been, um, and, and I'm, I'm sure we'll get the result. Yes, we are underway. 
at Children's Mercy Park in Kansas City, Kansas. And here comes Rodriguez stepping in front of the pass. He uncloaks his shot that just trickles wide. You love the player going against his former teammates. So far, Memo Rodriguez looks up for it. It will be Ache Ache to take it short to Bossi. Back to Arena. He'll take the shot and tuck it just inside the post. A touch of class from Hector Arena. And the visitors go in front. But there is the halftime whistle. It's 1-0 to the visitors. The Houston Dynamos score first and are ahead of Sporting Kansas City. Sporting Kansas City going to have to be big here in the second half if they want to get out with all three points. Well, Rodriguez takes it away from his former teammate and clips a beautiful ball over the top to William Gata. William Gata was via Chico in his back pocket. And Gata, the shot goes wide. He's claiming for a deflection, but the referee says no. There's Rodriguez again, driving forward. Falls to Shallowy! Daniel Shallowy! The Hungarian assassin has leveled the match right on the stroke of an hour. His first on the season. And it sneaks inside the left post. Sporting Kansas City, our level. On the turn of the hour mark, SKC back on level terms. Griffin Dorsey pushing into the attack. It's Dorsey sliding a ball across for Aliu inside the 18, and he slots it in the corner. The visitors back in front. Ibrahim Aliu. Counterattack with lightning pace and precision. Finished by Aliu, and Houston have a 2 1 lead. Vargas. Back post. Libel knocks it back across. I got it. South stand. Both sides have made huge saves, and that save from Steve Clark keeps Houston in front. And there is the final whistle. Sporting Kansas City fall at home to the Houston Dynamo, two to one. There is too much quality to be denied for Sporting, but they're going to have to wait another night after the tremendous comeback for the Houston Dynamo.